Top down analysis is the key cornerstone when it comes to developing daily bias inside the marketplace. This is one of the single most important concepts of your trading success, yet too many traders still don't fully understand this structure. That's okay, because in this video, I'm going to break down top down analysis to its core, whether you're a day trader, intraday, or even a scalper, and give you guys the exact blueprint to approaching the marketplace on a consistent daily basis. But before we can get into the video, make sure you guys are following me on Instagram at Arkham Trades. Thank you. Top down analysis is simply just going to the higher time frames, identifying your directional bias and key levels. Then, once at your key levels, scaling down to the lower time frames for your entry model. Too many traders jump straight to the lower time frames like the M5 or the M1 with no real clue of the higher time frame structure or even key levels. Before you can even look at the lower time frame charts, you have to be aware of the higher time frame big picture. Now I'm going to break down the specific time frames to look at when it comes to day trading, intraday trading, and scalping. Identify what suits you as a trader and stick to it. When it comes to day trading, our goal is to catch the daily range, and trades can typically last a couple hours or the whole day. For this time frame, we want to focus on the 4 hour and 1 hour as our high time frame bias and executing on the 15 minute time frames. For intraday, these trades can typically last 1 to 3 hours, essentially catching the session's range. You want to be focusing on the 1 hour and the 15 minute as your higher time frame bias and going down to the 5 minute for executions. Last but not least, we have scalping, where these trades can last no longer than an hour. You're usually in and out of the marketplace in a short period of time. The time frames we want to be focusing on is the 15 minute for a higher time frame and the executions on the five minute and even one minute chart but remember do what suits you as a trader if you're more of a patient trader like i am the day trading and intraday approach is really good but if you're more impatient and want quicker moves inside the marketplace then the scalping and lower time frames would be best fit for you the general gist of the higher time frames is to use it as a bird's eye view of the marketplace identify market structure and pd arrays so you always want to be aligning yourself with the higher time frame trend as well as taking trades inside of higher time frame levels in alignment with that higher time frame trend and only come down to the lower time frames and frame an entry plan once you have come into a higher time frame level where you anticipate a lower time frame displacement followed by a pullback into a lower time frame pd array to frame your entry as you can see from these examples you can see how time is fractal as a one hour candlestick is simply structure being built on the lower time frames and when you can truly understand this concept trading becomes a lot easier and you will end up finding yourself on the right side of the marketplace a lot often so the goal of the higher time frames is to identify the structure in the higher time frame pd arrays and once we reach up into or reach down into those levels then you want to go down to your lower time frames, anticipating that displacement, followed by that retracement for that continuation lower or continuation to the upside. And as you can see from a day trading approach to an intraday approach to even a scalping approach, it's the same framework. So time is fractal throughout all time frames. So let's now get into some live market examples and how to implement this into your own trading. We're on the Dow Jones here for our day trading example, and we're looking at the four hour time frame. And as you can see, the marketplace has clearly been seeing lower and lower prices, leaving this bearish fair value gap here on the four hour. This is clearly a higher time frame bearish area of resistance that the marketplace is reaching up into. Now let's go down to the lower time frames and see if we can see some type of lower time frame PD arrays inside of this higher time frame PD arrays and then even lower than that time frame for our entry model. Now we're down on the one hour time frame and we can clearly identify this one hour bearish order block. So I want to see the marketplace reach up into this level during my time of trading, which is the New York session. So during the New York session, I want to see the marketplace reach up into this level, fail to push higher and instead give me my entry model, which is this displacement followed by this retracement for this continuation of the bearish trend. Now let's go down to the 15 minute time frame as we reach up into this level and see what happens now coming down to a 15 minute time frame we clearly have this resistance level this four hour bearish for bad gap as well as this one hour bearish order block now if we can reach up into this level and see displacement on the 15 minutes 
indicating we want to go lower with a bearish order block or a bearish for buy gap inside of this level i'd love to take shorts targeting back below low of day now let's see what happens we can clearly identify that we reached up into this bearish order block following this move to the downside leaving this last up close candle as a bearish order block now i'm going to put my limit order here at this last up close candle this bearish order block stop loss just above the one hour order block targeting back below these lows for a 2.5 r let's see if we can retrace back up into this bearish order block for this continuation to the downside we can clearly see the next candle open we retrace back up into that bearish order block and then we eventually reach lower into our take profit. We identified the higher time frame trend, which was lower prices. Then we identify these higher time frame bearish PD arrays. And then once we've seen this displacement lower, followed by this bearish candlestick lower, breaking below this last up close candlestick, this makes this a high probability order block. So as the marketplace reach up into that last up close candlestick, we took shorts, targeting back below a low of day. Now let's get into our intraday trade example. We're looking at GPUSD on the one hour time frame, and we can clearly identify that we have been making lower prices, breaking structure to the downside, and we have this bearish order block above us. First, we identified the trend inside the marketplace, which was lower prices, as well as we've identified this one hour bearish order block. Now I'm going to go down to the 15 minute time frame and see if I can get some type of additional structure or PD arrays inside this level. Now we're looking at the 15 minute time frame and we can clearly identify this inversion fair bag gap inside of that higher time frame bearish order block, a clear resistance level inside of the marketplace. Now I want to see us reach up into this level, find that measurement of rejection for that continuation to the downside, aiming down below the New York session lows. Let's go down to a five minute time frame and get our entry. We're now down on the five minute time frame and let's see what happens. We can clearly identify here that we reached up into that bearish inversion fair value gap, seeing this displacement lower, leaving this bearish fair value gap as a area of entry. So I'm going to put my limit order here inside this bearish fair value gap, stop loss just above these highs, targeting back below the New York session lows for a 3 to 1 R. Let's see what happens. Price comes back up into that bearish fair value gap, taps us in. And then TP gets smacked just like so. Very, very solid. Now, let's get into our scalping example. We're on NASDAQ here looking at the 15 minutes. And we can clearly identify this 15 minute bullish fair value gap as a level of support inside the marketplace. I want to see the marketplace reach down into this bullish fair value gap. Find that support we're looking for for that continuation to the upside. And we can clearly identify that as of late we have been making higher prices inside of the nasdaq overall plus we have some liquidity above us as well as this bearish revive gap as a level that we could potentially reach up into so i'm gonna go down to the five minute time frame here and see what happens now on the five minute time frame here come into the new york session at 9 a.m i'm gonna see how do we react after tapping into this bullish revive gap we see that we tapped into that bullish for VAG gap. Following tapping into that bullish for VAG gap on the 15 minute, we see this displacement to the upside. Now I'm going to go down to the one minute time frame and see if we can get some type of entry model on the one minute for our trade idea. Now we're on the one minute time frame and we can clearly identify this one minute bullish order block as a level support. Now I'm going to put my limit order inside of that one minute bullish order block. Stop loss just below the bullish order block. Targeting back above these highs into that bearish for value gap for a two to one r now let's see how this thing plays out price comes lower tapping into that one minute bullish order block we eventually reach up into take profit just like so so that's gonna be it for the video i hope i was able to give you guys a lot of value inside of this video and hopefully something clicked to where you can now become a better trader Make sure you guys hit that like, subscribe, and comment what you guys want to see next. I'm Markham. Be safe. I have released my private mentorship where I give daily lessons on technical analysis, fundamental analysis, psychology, risk management, as well as live trading, and much more for your trading success. 
if that's something you guys wish to check out and want even more content and gems from me not shared anywhere else it will be the first link in the description or the first link in my instagram bio if you wish to follow me on there as well at arkham trades thank you for watching